Hey guys, it's me, Sloan. I hope you guys are well. <coughs> oh my goodness. It's been a day. Okay, so I am a super nerd, especially as it comes to entertainment, music and movies and TV shows especially. Um, so what I do is when I find an artist that I truly like, hang on, you guys are too close. Give me space. Let me breathe, okay? So... Today's topic is Jamie Campbell Bauer. And I say this because I, I loved him in Sweeney Todd, and I kind of followed his career ever since then, his movie career. Now, I say that to be very, very specific because only recently did I find out that he's a musician. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this to begin with because, hello, he was singing in Sweeney Todd. And most actors and creatives that are in that field are in both music, and film. So um, I came across some of his music on YouTube, and I realized, damn, that man's voice is amazing. And he can play guitar, and he's good. That's impressive and frightening, because people like this are beautiful, talented in one thing, talented in another, talented on pretty much everything that they actually put their hands on. And it's unnerving because as a creative myself, I'm not good with guitar and I'm okay with singing and, 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 you know, I'm just not a Jamie Campbell Bauer kind of person, but I can write. So there is that. So I'm, I'm kind of talented in the one field and the rest of them, I'm just, eh, meh, you know, so it's disturbing. It's very, very disturbing. So I found his band counterfeit and they're pretty good. Him and his little brother. And um, now I'm seeing him do a lot of solo stuff, which is wild to me. Again, did not know the man had a music career, and yet he does. I don't see how he didn't blow up beforehand, how I didn't hear about this beforehand. I'm a freaking nerd, so now I have to go and deep dive all his music. <laughs> I'm research girl. That's what I do. I deep dive on things, you know? So now, like, I've seen his movies because I'm impressed by his acting. And now I have to go and see all of his music videos and, and probably buy all of his albums and stuff so that I can really like listen. Like I did with Miles Kennedy. When Miles Kennedy first came onto my radar, I didn't know anything about him other than he was the replacement singer at the end of Rockstar. Uh, I know, I'm lame, I get it. But I'm too busy researching other things like Muddy Waters and Howling Wolf, anyway. I digress. So when I found out about Miles Kennedy, I had seen him perform with Slash. And I was just like, wait, who is this guy? So I looked him up and I realized he was the guy in Rockstar. Oh my God, this curl is like not giving up. Anyway, so I realized that he was not just the guy in Rockstar. He was in a really, really amazing singer. And the man can play guitar like it's nobody's freaking business. So I went on a deep dive of him too. And I realized he wasn't just in a band with Slash. No, no, no. He was in Alter Bridge and the Mayfield Four. And now the man has his own solo career. So it's just like, I think I'm just impressed with the super talented. Yep, that's what it is. So I'm going to go binge watch a whole bunch of music videos now. I hope you do the same and figure out the things that I've been figuring out. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.